video just to let everyone know who has this product and may not be aware of this, but this product, the Shield Tablet, has had a voluntary recall by NVIDIA due to the battery in this being, um, well, bad and dangerous. So, the battery is bad, but there is an easy RMA process. They're going to RMA all the tablets and give you, like, brand new tablets with better batteries, newer batteries inside of them that are not affected with this issue. But there is instructions on how to do it. It's very easy. They just basically bring a new tablet to your door, brand new, and um, you, I guess, I'm not 100% sure if you have to send this back, but somebody mentioned that, that you may, they'll give you a box to put it in and then you send it back. Um, as soon as you, re you uh, turn on and activate your new tablet, this one becomes a brick. So uh, I really, I don't care if you can figure out how to, how to turn it back on, please don't. Please don't, don't try to use it. I know some people have kids and stuff. You don't want to have a dangerous tablet or something like that laying around. Just get rid of it, please. And I really, even though I don't think NVIDIA will do this, I really hope they destroy all these tablets, all the older tablets, because they're a, if they're a hazard, they shouldn't be around. But my guess is that they will probably try to refurb it, put a new battery in it, just save money. Um... You know, it's easy for maybe easy for me to say that because I don't have to deal with the financial loss, but I really hope that they decide to destroy these tablets. And the good side, of course, is that you get a brand new tablet. So if, like me, you had a lot of problems like physical issues, and, uh, you know, I had cracks, uh, the screen had a blemish right here, it annoyed the crap out of me. So you, you get that. Remember also to remove, you know, like I had an SD card. Remove the SD card, you know, anything like that. Uh, I tried factory resetting it to get rid of all my stuff, and I don't know if NVIDIA did something where if you try to do that, it will kind of brick it. I don't know if it's soft brick or a hard brick, but once I tried to factory reset, it just went to a black screen, and now I can't boot it back up after I went through the RMA process. So, so and uh, the, like I said, there's uh, instructions. It's very easy. Just you actually, they added it to the settings. They actually added the RMA process in an over-the-air update recently to the settings. So you can uh, tap on your battery, and then it'll bring you through the whole RMA process. And, uh, you know, if you have the affected battery, uh, affected tablet or battery, whatever, uh, I please, I would recommend that you don't use it. It's just, <laughs> uh, don't, don't bother. It, you know, I don't know. For me, uh, I think safety is important. That's why I've never broken a bone in my body. Uh, I don't know why some people brag about breaking bones. It's like, I was stupid and broke a bone. But I brag about never breaking a bone in my body, and I actually have a fairly physical job. So that's that. But yes, surprise, surprise, the Shield tablet, which had very questionable build quality, has an issue with the battery. <laughs> but you can get a new one, and hopefully that one will be better than this older one. This is one of, I think this was a launch tablet. So I knew that I was able, I was able to RMA this. And basically, they just, like I said, they just bring it, the new tablet to your door. You do that and I guess possibly you may have to put it in a box and send, send the old tablet back, back to them. But yeah, there's a lot of people talking about like saving it and trying to get it working and all this stuff. Um, and I'm just like, want to punch myself in the head. I'm like, why? Why save it? It's a friggin' hazard. Um, you could hurt somebody. You could friggin' literally burn your fucking house down. And you see, mine's off. It stays off. I cannot turn it on. I will not turn it on. I did everything that I needed to do first and keeping, I'm keeping this off. If it wasn't for the fact that I don't know if I have to send it back to them, I would literally throw this thing in the fucking garbage. Okay, so... Check the links. If you have this, check to see if your battery matches the description of the recall batteries. And uh, please just don't use it. Um, it's dangerous. Don't use it. I don't care if you think, oh, well, you know, that's not going to happen to me. And I, I said this on the forums. Just go through a list in your head of things that you, that have happened to you. You know how many times people say, why always me? And then they'll turn around and say, that won't happen to me. 
Well, you know. <laughs> it's probably will happen to you, okay? <laughs> it will happen to you. Not only will it happen to you, it'll take your whole house down, it'll kill your family, and you'll be on fire, your head will be on fire, you'll be screaming, running in circles, okay? So don't use it. Um, so, yeah. That's that's that. The Like I said, the RMA process is really freaking easy. Uh, it, it, no matter how freaking lazy you are, it doesn't matter. It's so damn easy that the laziest person on the planet Earth could go through this RMA process with no problems. So, yeah. It's even built into the freaking over-the-air update. I've never seen that shit before, but yeah. So, thank you for watching. Please RMA your tablet and don't use it. Unless, of course, you have the unaffected battery. So, thank you for watching.